groups here with the Malaysians, the Filipinos, and the Thais. For Malaysia, lead off runner is Ramachandran Chanti. She was fourth in the 400 regular event. And the lead off runner for Malaysia, there she is, Ramachandra Shanti. For the Philippines, the lead off runner is Emma Moros. And then for Thailand, 8.44 is Srirat Chimruk. So they know they've got medals here. It's by entering the event, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not the ties can outdo the Filipinos yet again. Actually, John, I think uh, the Malaysians uh, might be in with a, chant, a shout here as well. Uh, they've got uh, Arshanti, who ran a creditable fourth in the 400 metres. They've got uh, Rabia Abdul Salam, who got the silver medal in the 400 metres. And of course, they've got Jishanti, the silver medalist from both the 100 and 200 metres. Indeed, okay. Lanes three, four, and five. They will be moving into the inside of the track shortly. And then there's an element of confusion. 500 meters. They move to the inside, but here they stay in lanes. And they can move now, 100 meters, uh, they move to the, the center, uh, to the center of the track and we see now the ties in a commanding position at the moment with Sri Rat Chimruk, Sri Rat going well, very, very steadily. Now we see the Malaysians trying to get, catch. Did she go away too fast? She's certainly going well at the moment. Sri Rat Chimruk. She's going to be handing over to Sakaya Sangyuen. She's tying up a little bit, coming 20 meters, but she's still got a lead of six. Sukaya takes over. And for Malaysia, it's Singaraja in the number two spot for Malaysia. And she's catching. That's looking good. Well, maybe your prediction is going to come through, Jamie. She's certainly looking good down that back straight. Oh my goodness, she's hauling back the yardage there. And that's very impressive running by Singaraja. On the shoulder, ready for the attack, but you never know, that might have taken quite a lot out of her to catch up to that position. Sukaya in oh, first spot at the moment, but now the drive in on the shoulder. Singaraja coming, but once again, the Thai athlete Sukaya Sangwen breaks back. They're coming up neck and neck. It's Thailand and Malaysia. The Philippines are out of it at the moment. Thailand go first. Then it is Malaysia. We now have Selerek Srimek of Thailand. Selerek Srimek and G Shanti, Govindasami Shanti in second place. Well, it's a great battle here. The Malaysians really do look uh, as if they could threaten, but Thailand holding on to that top spot at the moment. Just one meter ahead. This is a four by 400 meters. Ladies, there are three teams in it, but there's only two, in fact, who are showing us any form at all. Coming off the straight, uh, off the bend, into the straight, Govinda Sami Shandi, and she is moving well and into the lead. A big moment this for Malaysia. The Malaysian crowd are on their feet, cheering their athletes on. And it's going to be Rabia Abdul Salam taking over for Malaysia. It's Nudang Pimno of Thailand. And Pimno already making a move. There's a lot of psychology involved in this. It's certainly even Stevens coming down that back straight. Malaysia with Thailand. Thailand on the outside and attacking. They're both going stride for stride now. And Rabia not going to let her go. She's making a run on the outside. Oh, and a little bit of a slip there. Rabia gives distance. Solid run by Nudan Pimpno as she comes round that final straight. Uh, bend into the straight once again. Oh, this is great stuff. Marvellous moments. The final 
of the 4x400 four meters, and Jamie, you might have got it right again. Malaysia takes the gold medal in the 4x400 four for women. Thailand in second, and my goodness me, that was a wonderful day for Malaysia. They've just taken the gold in the long jump for men, and inspired, I'm sure, by the national anthem, the Malaysian girls do a brilliant job. The flag comes out, and the quartet of Ramachandran Shanti, Singaraja, Joseph Amiri, Govinda Sami Shanti, and Rabia Abdul Salem, they show the crowd, they show the photographers, and my goodness me, that was a great... Jamie. Well, I don't know about you, John. I defy anyone. I defy anyone to say that the 4x400 four meters isn't the best event on the track. And uh, these two, of course, were the gold and silver medalists from the individual event. In that, Pimpu won the gold medal. And uh, we watched Rabia Abdul Salam. She ran a super race, but just had left herself a little bit too much to do. This time, tactically, she got it perfect. She allowed Pimpu to overtake. That meant that Pimpu was just in front as they came off the final bend. And that put her in exactly the right position to just slipstream her, come past with about 80 metres to go, and she strode away on one by maybe three or four metres. Absolutely fabulous. Great event and great emotion for the Malaysians. Don't they like it? Perhaps worth mentioning as well, G-Shanti. Oh, now here they come off the curve. And she's done everything right there. Now look at the nice high knee lift. She's really looking good. This is only a 20-year-old, 20, 20 and she's really got a big future in front of her. But you can see she looks much more composed, and Pimpu didn't expect this. This wasn't in the script at all. She was supposed to take the, get the race, and it was going to be in her pocket. But great length of stride. The knees drop in there. Fatigue's really setting in, but she knows she's got it. Well, she didn't realise that Jamie Reeves had written the script there, you see? I think the bookmakers are beginning to get a bit worried about me here. <laughs> but I was, was going to say earlier on that I think it's worth mentioning G Shanti, who ran the third leg for them. Obviously, she's a 100 and 200 metre specialist, but she ran a superb leg and gave the Malaysian team uh, a, a couple of metres start. We see it from all angles here, and the pain on the right there is for Nudan Pimpo. Oh, Rabia Abdusalam coming and home very, very strongly. And as soon as she had just gone, but drifted past her, I think it, the morale, the spirit of the Thai girl was broken. And that was the moment of victory. Well, we've seen it so many times in the 4x400 four metres. You don't necessarily have to be the best flat runner uh, to win the race. You've got to be the best competitor. And it's not as if you're running in separate lanes with yards apart. Uh, you're running on one another's shoulders, you can feel the physical presence. She got past and there was no hauling her back at that stage.